Terence Crawford should never appear on a Riyadh season fight card ever again. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Tommy Edson. I hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So apologies for the setting. I'm not in the studio. I'm uh, out on the road again, but I would really wanted to talk about the fight card last weekend. Terence Crawford against uh, Madrimov. Big shout out to Martin Bacoli. I'm not going to get into the, the fight, but he demolished Jared Anderson. I've been saying this for a long, long time. Go back and watch my videos, how I rate Martin Bacoli. He deserves a massive fight now. And, and to be featured on all the, uh, or certainly on the next Riyadh season card or, or subsequent ones as well. Definitely big shout out to him. I thought some of the fights were pretty decent as well. But let's get into Terence Crawford against Madrimov. It, it, it was a dull affair, I thought. It was a very technical, very intriguing fight from a boxing purist point of view. But in terms of entertainment, it wasn't there. Madrimov didn't really do anything for the first four or five rounds. He wasn't really putting any real pressure on. And they weren't really committing. They weren't really, really being aggressive enough for me. Neither boxer. The first four or five rounds, I thought... Uh, Crawford took those, he won those. Then Madrimov came back into it, and yeah, there's some close uh, rounds, but he, you know, he won those as well. But then Crawford, you know, he kind of, he did enough. He did enough to, to win the fight. I thought the decision was right, but it just wasn't impressive enough. So if you're asking me now, sort of pound for pound, well, on that performance, I don't think you can rate pound for pound in terms of in terms of 154 where the 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 weight he was going in at yes he's four time world champion now or four division world champion fantastic achievement but it just wasn't impressive enough and I'm not talking about the achievement itself yes because winning is winning and all that sort of stuff and technical boxing and everything like that so yes from that point of view he won and he deserves it and all the congratulations but I'm talking about being on the, you know, the fight cards for Turkey Al Sheikh and Riyadh season, all this kind of stuff, because this is supposed to be bringing the biggest fights and the most exciting fights. And I know you don't always get that. But by contrast, you take Martin McCauley, for example, and you say, please get him onto a fight card as soon as possible. That's Turkey Al Sheikh. Get him onto a fight card as soon as possible. We want to see him in, a, in another big fight. Whereas Terence Crawford, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't even want to see him on another big fight card. It wasn't, it, you know, I, I had the feeling it was a little bit like watching, I don't know, Shakur Stevenson or something like that. You know, it was just, it was a bit lame in, in some, in certain ways. <clears throat> and I just don't think it was just exciting enough that you just didn't recommit really yourself. Now, is this a weight thing? Is this a, a styles thing? If you're trying to tell me that you want to step up a couple of weights to go up to against Canelo, then you have to, kind of convince me that you're you're ready you're on that journey and you're going to be aggressive and take these guys out as you step up in weight i've said this before it's way too much of a jump for crawford and he's not he's not you know he's 36 37 you know so is canelo these are two out elder guys now you know getting into that you know you you want a super fight but it's just not it's just not there but regardless of whether I, whether I think he could beat Canelo, I just don't definitely don't think he can because the, the weight issue is going to be too much of an issue, and also the way he will lose power as he goes up in weight as well because he's not bedded into that weight. Regardless of what we think of Crawford as a, a pound for pound boxer at the lesser weights, right? In terms of being stepping up, you get found out. But it's about entertainment. Now, if you're talking about the Riyadh season uh, fight cards, it's about having big fights, right? Having entertaining fights, having bangers on there. And this was just a real letdown. Now, the, the thing is here, if, if you've got an audience, right, who are not impressed, you know, it's like being in the Colosseum in Rome. You know, the mob, you know, will tell you how, how they feel, right? And this is what the, the audience are kind of telling you. You know, if you've got, like in a Shakur Stevenson fight or, or other disappointing fighters in recent history, right, where half the audience starts walking out or lots of people within the audience start walking out on Terence Crawford fight, <coughs> certainly in the early part of the round or the early part of the fight, let's say, four or five uh, round, let's say, four or fifth round, then that kind of tells you a lot. So Turkey Al Sheikh and the Riyadh season, whoever, you know, involved in that. I know you get lots of YouTubers now, maybe talking about, well, oh, Canelo isn't right. You know, all that sort of, he shouldn't really be stepping up. Maybe we'll make another fight against Ortiz or, or whomever, right? 
I, I, I can see what they're saying, but I'm looking at this from a completely different angle. I'm looking at, okay, I want to be entertained. Okay. So, and that's what Riyadh season is. That's what take out shape. They want to bring us big time boxing and entertainment. And we just didn't get it. There's a massive opportunity for Terence Crawford, not necessarily to <clears throat> completely outbox Madrimov, who was, who was a fantastic fighter as well. I don't know. And I go back to what I said before, styles make, you know, fights and all that kind of stuff. And maybe there was an issue there. And maybe the weight issue was, was a problem for Crawford as well. But neither fighter were really aggressive enough to take it, to take that chance. And it, for me, it was a boring watch. I was, I was actually bored. You know, I was I was watching the fight and I was thinking and I, and I got up really early in the morning, about three o'clock in the morning, was, you know, waited, watch M and M, yeah, decent. And then, you know, I watched uh, the earlier fights, decent. <clears throat> I caught up later with the the fights that I'd missed. And then I was I was just watching the, the Crawford fight and I was going, I'm just just bored. You know, cat and mouse is fine and technical is great, you know, from one point of view, but you kind of really digging into what you know, what's purest as we would like to say, oh, this is a, you know, a very decent fight. You can really pick it out. But in terms of the overall optic, as uh, you know, many people like to say, it just wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good impression for Terence Crawford from my point of view. I don't necessarily want to see him at that weight again. I don't want to see him uh, <clears throat> at a high weight. And I certainly don't want to see him against Canelo. You know, the, the point is, if you're saying you want me to be invested as a, as a boxing fan in super fights, then it's got to be something that is built up and you think, yeah, you've given me the data now to get me excited. There's no data in Terence Crawford at that weight at 154 against Madrimov that makes me believe that I really want to see the Terence Crawford against a Canelo fight. That's my point. So for, for me, Turkey Al Sheikh and Riyadh Season, they should think about this. Think about what did that fight we saw at the weekend, what did it bring to the overall spectacle? Did it sell you the idea, the notion of wanting to watch Terence Crawford against Canelo uh, uh, or, or anybody else? And you can backpedal a little bit all you want, but the whole point is it's supposed to be a stepping stone. And even if he'd lost against Madrimov, but it was a banger, you'd be like, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, th there's something there. But it wasn't. It just wasn't enough for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Yes, he won. I'm not disputing that. Yes, it was a it was it was a boring fight for me. It was technical. It was fine. Nobody really committed. Yeah, in the latter part of the fights and the latter part of the rounds. Yeah, sometimes they were getting inside and yeah, some 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 shots were getting. But it was it was it was low. It was um it it was a low amount of punches. It was it was it was a low delivery, a poor delivery of of entertainment of a spectacle. That's my point. So Turkey Al Sheikh, I know you listen to other uh YouTube channels and maybe they're persuading you to yeah, put Terence Crawford against Canelo. We definitely want to see that. And maybe other channels are saying, no, we don't want to see that. I'm saying to you don't put Terence Crawford on one of your fight cards until he shows in a next fight somewhere else that he's bringing the entertainment. He's bringing the big show. If he does that, fine. But if he doesn't, just scrap all notions about having him included. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And hopefully I'll be in the studio again soon. Ta-da now.